What's good, y'all? Uh, you know, this video was supposed to be recorded a long time ago, but you know, I had to take care of business first. But so basically, I'm going to uh, get you guys caught up from basically after the pro day and uh, my experience since then. And uh, yeah, so it's a lot. So I had to make a couple notes so I don't lose track of what I'm talking about. And uh, if you see, if you watch my last video, which was my pro day. Uh, I don't even I don't even know what I'm about to say. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But basically, uh, I meant to make videos leading like after pro day, heading up to the draft. But you know, all everything going on, you know, I wasn't really focusing on YouTube, and you know, I kind of just pushed it to the side. But now, you know, let me get you guys all caught up. So my pro day, you know, pro day went well. I think I did great. Uh, you know, for my size, being 228 pounds, you know, I ran uh, 4, 5, 1, 40, 39 and a half inch vert, bench 19 reps, you know, and my drill work went great. So, you know, I can't complain. And, uh, yeah, after pro day, I went back home to Indiana and, you know, just trained. It was meeting with teams, you know, through Zoom. Just, you know, normal NFL process. But what I will say, it's probably one of the most stressful times of my life. You know, just, you never know when a team's gonna call. You gotta be prepared to talk. You know, it just, it's a lot, you know. That just explains how much the, you gotta be ready for this next level. And, uh, that whole, when they talk about teams calling, uh, you know, you you never really knew what the next hour of your day would consist of with all the, the interview process and all that stuff. But, you know, on the other hand, it was cool, you know, meeting all these coaches, talking to all these coaches. It was, it was, it was cool. And uh, having all that free time, you know, you having to work out on your own, and manage the interviews, you know, it just, it, it, you know, it, it's not hard to manage, but you can definitely get caught up in all the free time, and extra, extra time you have, other than being like on a university, having coaches hit you up for schedule and all that. So I think I've handled that pretty well. Uh, basically fast forward, draft weekend, you know, comes up. Now me, I knew like being a running back and how everything how everything goes. I knew I wasn't a first day guy, round one guy, and you know I knew most likely I wasn't gonna get called day two. But you know I just I was looking forward just to any opportunity basically, and uh, that third day it was a long day real long day you know just waiting watching picks go you know the emotions high low you know you don't it, it the draft is stressful I'm telling you and uh as we got towards the end like this the end of the sixth round I'm starting to question like damn like what's going on like I'm thinking I'm supposed to been gone already you know, I just kept waiting and waiting. And then uh team started calling. Or not started calling, but like starting getting reached out by two by scouts and stuff. And then uh it was the TV, that's the thing about the drive, the TV was delayed. And you know, you thinking you got passed up on by a team or something. So it was picked. 242. It was pick 242. Excuse me. It was pick 242 in the seventh round. And uh, my phone rang, and I was like, you know, unknown number. And I had like, I ain't really know what to, I ain't really know what to think. So my phone rang, 
uh, and I picked it up, and uh, you know, a sigh of relief. It was the Dolphins, you know, Miami Dolphins, and they, they, you know, they was letting me know that they was picking me up, pick 244, and I was like 244, because on TV it said pick 242, but you know, TV was delayed, and my uh, my teammate James Wiggins, he had actually got drafted right before me to Arizona which was cool but you know that phone call you know I couldn't be happier I didn't really care what number I went at that point you know just happy to get drafted you know that's something something as an athlete you work towards your whole life to get you know every every football player if you ask them what their goal is to play in the NFL and yet to get drafted into the NFL so you know very grateful you know all this hard work is paid off but you know this is just another another part of my journey just beginning so uh yeah i can't i'm not gonna really i'm not gonna go into any deep details about how the phone call went and all that stuff because you know you gotta keep it professional and uh yeah so after after draft day I had a uh, what happened? Well, I had about a week, a week still in Indy before I had left to uh, Miami for rookie mini camp. So I was just kicking it, working out, you know, saying my goodbyes to everybody. And you know, as I flew out to Miami, uh, met met all the guys in the, in the on the facility, all the staff, you know, rookie mini camp came around went good you know Miami's hot as hell hot as hell it's different like y'all think it's hot in Indiana or wherever y'all at Miami different I ain't gonna lie and I even have the worst of it yet and they, they say it gets crazy but hey it is what it is but my rookie minicamp went well you know I'm just here really excited to get to you know, learn the playbook, get to meet all my teammates, create special bonds with all of them. Uh, just get comfortable being here, you know, and as time goes on, you know, I got to eventually look for a place to live. You know, right now I'm just in a hotel, just, you know, trying to get everything, everything all together before I try to make a big step. And, uh, yeah, I can't, you know, I can't complain about anything right now. You know, I'm just grateful to be in this position I am. Uh, thank God, because, you know, if I am, none of this is possible. Thank my, my family, you know, the support, the support y'all shown me, you know, I couldn't ask for more. Uh, all my friends, close friends, you know, y'all been right there with me too. Y'all know my, y'all know my journey, all the ups and downs. And, you know, I can't thank y'all more. And all the, all the fans, and all the Dolphins fans, you know, uh, I see all y'all, I see all y'all comments and y'all, especially the comments under my last video, you know, I appreciate, appreciate all y'all. Looking forward to interacting with most of y'all and, you know, ready to, you know, do work as a Dolphin and make y'all proud. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm just, you know, I can't, I can't really explain it. I'm just happy to be here and, uh, Ready to get to work, man. Oh, another thing. Uh, you know, not a, not a lot of people get to have these. This is my draft card, and uh, let me let me find one second. Oh. Ian, Ian, the guy who read Dolphins fan, he, he read my uh, draft card, my draft pick at the actual draft, and he shipped this and he, he sent this my draft card to me, you know, and I thought that was real special. So, Ian, if you're watching this, I appreciate it. You know, looking forward to meeting you one day, and uh, 
you know, this is real special. Definitely gonna get this framed, framed one day. But yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna wrap the video up. Yeah, about 10, yeah, I'm gonna wrap the video up now. But stay tuned as time goes. I'll try not to take so long to upload another video. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned. It fins up.